Okay, I'm knitting with the little nine inch. It's funny that it completely changed my knitting habits. I have changed hands. I've picked up some speed and my tension is quite a bit tighter. But since I've not knitted a lot with this, I'm not sure if it'll loosen up as I go. This is only like the third set of socks. But um, I know that people have been having problems with the smaller needles. It's They said it hurt their hands. And if I knit the way I normally knit, then it does hurt my hands. I have to change to my double pointed needles or magic loop. But just for the leg of the sock or the foot of the sock, I'm finding I really like this tiny little nine inch needle. It's a size one, 2.25 millimeter. And I will show you, this is how I normally knit on any given day, but it seems to hurt my hands this way. I don't know if I've got a death grip on it or what, but um, this sort of, I don't know what this would be called, a semi flick, a semi flick. <laughs> method. I don't know. I'm not really throwing and I'm not really flicking. So it's a cross between. If anybody knows, please leave me a comment about what this method is called, if there's a name for it. I don't know. It's good for watching TV. I have learned to semi-knit without looking this way. But like I said, I've not practiced a lot. I'm hoping that with a little bit of time, I'll be able to watch TV programs and knit without having to constantly stare at my socks. I believe it was Elizabeth Zimmerman that said, Anyone can knit with their eyes closed. You just close your eyes or in the dark, you close your eyes and knit one stitch. Open your eyes, look at that stitch, close your eyes and knit two stitches. And so on and so forth. And before long, you are knitting without watching. So... I know um, I've been watching a lot of blogs and reading a lot of forums and a lot of people are not enjoying these tiny needles. But I have to say that I am. And uh, I hope you give it a shot. Maybe just change up your knitting altogether. Because they're nice to have. Um, let's see. Is there anything else that I can tell you that. Um, I'm saying um a lot. Sorry about that. Anything else I can tell you. That might make it easier for you to use these tiny needles. Um, I can show you how I tension my yarn. And I wrap it around. Oops. I'm out of focus. Wrap it around my pinky around again and back up. So this is the way I tension my yarn and I've learned that even though my tension is quite tighter, quite a bit tighter doing knitting this way, I find I can do a whole round without having to move 
the yarn. I don't have to pre-feed the yarn like I normally did. So I can just sort of walk it around with my, I loosen up with my thumb. When I'm flicking, I try to loosen my thumb here. Wrap and move my thumb as I have, as I'm making that last stitch. So I can go quite a distance without having to refeed the next bunch of stitches in. And of course, like all knitting tutorials, it is live. I do make mistakes. I do miss stitches. And I do stumble with words. But I'm hoping that as I do more, it will get better. Um, <laughs> there's that word again. Um. I know this is a little bit longer than I normally talk, but I want you, you to give this little needle a shot, a real shot, because your hands will get used to it. And I think once you figure it out, you will like it because you don't have to keep moving those stitches around. I did a whole sock yesterday, and I started this one this morning, and I've only been knitting for a little while. My camera seems to be auto focusing. I hope you could have seen you could see that pretty well. And I'm sitting on my bench my husband made in front of my window, just enjoying some knitting. So everybody have a great day. Get some knitting done. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye.